Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of our videos. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you all of our hamster supplies. Mimi is currently sleeping inside her bed so this is just all the supplies she has inside of her cage right now. It's just toys, chews, her wheel and then her water bottle and then that stand. Otherwise the bedding will soak up all the water. Oh she's awake! Hi Mimi! Let's close this. So this is her cage, it's a cage of Zooplos, it does have a shelf in, don't know what it's called. So this is Eleanor's storage shelf, it gets organised like once every couple of months and then everything else just gets dumped on and then it gets all messy. So the first thing is just her bag of fish which we've done a review which I'll leave linked below, Mimi absolutely loves this bedding. It's great, I definitely recommend it. There's the As you can see, this shelf never gets used. It's just got some jars on, a box, and some sand. Don't climb, please don't climb, please don't climb. She loves climbing too much, she just can't stop. So on this shelf, there's just this dustpan and brush, which everyone needs. And then there's this high down. This one just came with the cage, and then... There's this seed grass hideout which you can attach onto the bars. It is for birds, but it's really good. Mimi loves this type of stuff. And then there's this one which is from Pets at Home. Who would know? A hamster cage makes a great tripod. So on the third shelf up, we've just got some disinfectant. This house which is from the summer range a few years ago which is super cute. Got this coconut house which is also from Pets at Home that I bought Mimi. It's a good house. It's also really great as a sand bath. We have, I think Ellie's got every design of these. So there's this design, there's this one, and this one. We also have this. Not really sure what it's called, but it's just like a shelf. They're really good for chinchillas to so like the teeth and nails. So Ellie thought she would get one for Mimi to test it out on her nails. Oh, this mug for Christmas. It's cute for photo shoots. That had bed in it. And then we've got this orange hideout. Um, I think this is off Viovet. It's good because it's got a hole in, so therefore she pees in it. It goes into the bedding and you don't have to clean it out because these are very awkward shapes to clean out. Next we have this house and each lid is up here. This is from Pets at Home. I think it was like six pound or something. It's pretty cute, it's like a little cottage. And then we've got this bucket, which is for Halloween. Don't know, Ellie bought it as a hideout, I think, if you saw our Halloween cage tour. And then we have this little dustpan and brush. So we've got some hamster popcorn, Mimi loves this. And we've got this water bottle that came, that didn't come with the cage, that stuck on the cage, but Mimi can't reach it without the shelf in. She can't get up the shelf anymore. And then we've got this love heart ball which is really cute this is good for putting like little treats in for us now we've got mimi's huge tube collection so this one is from pets at home also i don't know where any of that stuff was from <laughs> and i think that was three pound and there's this one which is also from pets at home but i'm pretty sure you can get it from wilkinson's as well i think this was either three pound fifty or four pound this one is just part of a when you get a carpet and then you get a tube inside it. Mimi loves these, she loves chewing on them. She had one before that was massive and she slept in it all the time. I'll do the tubes. We've just got paper tubes, like your blue roll kitchen roll. There's a new And then there's these ones which are from the range, they are 50p each. Mimi loves these, she has quite a lot of them. Is this... I'm so confused, why is there another one of these? I think this was a part of a um, toy thing we got, but then I think she gave it to Jelena and didn't get the tube. I'm not sure why she has two of these. I might ask to see if I can have one for the bees. And then, yeah, that's definitely not from Pet's Home, it's completely different design. And then there's this seesaw which my mum got her for Christmas. Mimi actually loves this. <laughs> she can't turn it though, she's not heavy enough and then there's this penguin box which Ellie cut a hole in so Mimi can go inside it and make like a little nest there's this which she got in a trade it's an American hideout it's pretty cute it's like a little barn but you can barely tell 
Mimi was not. And then there's this Beware the Dwarf hamster sign from Pets at Home. And then there's this bed from Pets at Home that she got for a juice last year. And there's this cute little, I don't know what you call it, it's like a hobbit house. It's got like this nice material that Mimi loves to chew. It's also got some rope on, don't know why. A hole, this is bamboo, but it's not like the biggest hole ever. Mimi doesn't really like it. Another seagrass thing. This used to be Mimi's favourite. She used to chew in it all the time and there's so much bedding in there because she always makes her nests in it. This, oh yeah, that's from Pets at Home. Don't know what that's from. I think that's from the same place we got this from. I'm not sure. This was from like a random pet shop we found in Burnley. It's pretty cute. I think it was like five or seven pound. This, which means he's ripped all the bark off. It's like, I don't know, it's like a climbing frame, I guess. I think this was five pound from Pets at Home, not 100% sure. And half coconut house up here. Mimi loves this. It used to be great to put on her shelf. We have this, what would you call it? Oh, it's a burrow box. Mimi has used it a few times, but usually you just fill it with tissue and then she'll take all the tissue out. So. so on the top shelf, there's this bucket, which is full of different chews. Also, you can hear Mimi in the background showing the tissue. So there's this one, which did have loads of different chews in like this from Pets at Home. It was five pound. So yeah, there's these. Not really sure what half of these materials are, but I'll try. There's also loads of willow sticks. Mimi doesn't really like them, but you know, every owner has willow sticks. And then there's this hanging toy, which is from the summer range last year. It was £2.50. And it's just got those like lollipop sticks. So, it's good. And then there's fake grass because Jelena, ages ago, wanted fake grass to go inside Mimi's cage. And she just ordered so many samples and you know, the good for hamsters. And then there's these, which ones again go inside the basket? Mimi's bar climbing. Um, these. I bet Mimi would actually like these because she loves like this little notebook that's full of them. So yeah, that also came in the basket and then there's, um, the book came with some pencils and it was from the range, I think it was like two pound. And then there's this crab, which is from the range last year. I think it was £3, not exactly sure, and then there's this which is also from the range last year that was £2.50, I have the other one, and then Corny the Owl which is a rosewood product, um, Mimi had one of these and completely destroyed it so I gave Ellie mine and as you can see she's chewed so much of it, okay now Mimi's running on her wheel, sorry about that, and then does. Oh, I forgot what this stuff's called. I don't know, it's like, it's fake, not fake dye, it's edible dye and material that's good for your hamsters chewing. They're for chinchillas, it was off chinchillas to shop, I think. If I can find the link, I'll link it down below. But yeah, Mimi absolutely loves these. And then there's this corn rattle roller, which she loves. Loads of willow sticks in here. And then there's this shelf, which is really natural. I think this was from hmm, Jolly's, and I think it was like three pound or something. I don't know. And then there's also this hamster ties book, which was from Gordon Riggs. Mimi used to have loads of these, and she destroyed them all. Mimi's looks adorable right now. And then there's this summer garland, which you can get from a there. I think it was four pound. I want one of these for the guinea pigs. And then there's just some random syringes in here because like why not? These which we got for a theme a long time ago but are good for photo shoots. And then we've got this garland which is a little bit broken. It's a rainbow one also off of Viovert. There's like so much sand in here. This, this used to be a like sand tub. And then we've got these finger trap things, which are also from Chinchillas to shop. You get like a big bag of them for just a couple of pounds. And then more chews, which is out of the basket. There's so many of them. Oh yeah, here are the pencils. Mimi's destroyed them. This used to be orange. And then there's this chew. 
I don't know what it is. These dinosaur chews. These are the first chews they ever got for Mimi and Misty. And they've not even touched them. Mimi's drinking. Then a corn of the caterpillar because everybody needs one of these. These were two pounds, I think. And then there's also this shelf thing, I guess you call it that step. And then there's some watermelon chews from last year's summer range. It's been chewed on. This ball thing. Some wire, because you know why not? I think this is a firm. A Halloween thing I choose for a photo shoot. I'm not sure. There's also loads of these shoes which are American. And then this Kai. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here, like it's unreal. So Ellie's chew box. Oh there's also a tube in there. And this ball and then some of these basic chews. I don't know. As you can see there's so much bedding in there because she just dumps everything in and then really shake it off the bed. If you thought that was it, you were wrong. Sorry about the broken drawers, but in the top drawer under Mimi's cage is all Mimi's food items. So we've got these berry flavoured drops, which are from Wilkinson's, and they were 99p. So male ones, but you can pick up anywhere for 99p. And then Mimi's food. I don't know what food it is. I want to just buy just a random pack of food that she can find. Mimi loves this, just not the little pellet things, and then she mixes other things in it as well. Those tubs are from a random, a random pound shop. And then loads of these napkins, which are Halloween themed, because she bought a pack, and Mimi absolutely loves these. She puts them in all the time. Um, and then this dish, which she got with the first cage she ever bought, and she kept it. And then this dish, which she's got polka dots on, which is from Pets at Home, which was... I think two pound. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. And then this, I think this is like a paper clip tray or something. It was one pound or two pound from Wilkinson's. And then this this top, which has just got some. I think these are oaty flavored pets at home treats. I'm not 100% sure. And then there's this box. Who remembers this from our very first video? It's got flax seeds in, brown ones, and then the light brown ones, a forage mix, linseeds, seeds, a seed mix here, and then some more forage over here. And then we have a pack of linseeds. seeds. Some biscuit rings with parsley. This random chew thing, I don't, I don't have a clue what this is. And then this has, I think these are the treats my sister made when she came down. I, I, I have no idea what those are. Um, this one, which usually has mealworms in, but it needs refilling. And then there's also this food tub, which is empty. And then this extra spoon. This small little bowl, which needs cleaning. This came with one of Ellie's birthday presents, which was like a tape dispenser or something. And I just had this cute little bowl, which is great for baby food. <laughs> and then this, which we found in a pet, a charity shop, it was 50p. At first we were like, oh, it's cute for Easter, but then it's like, it's for St. Patrick's Day, I think, and we don't sell them like that. And then there's these, which are, these are diabetes strip things. Ellie bought to see if Mimi had diabetes, but she didn't. We were making a video on it, but then the video turned out really long and we didn't, just didn't bother doing anything with it. And then there's a bag in this corner that's got Halloween stuff in. So some spider's webs. This went around Mimi's cage. Well, Halloween theme. And then there's this ghost dish that needs cleaning. This is from TK Maxx. It was great. And then most of the stuff is either from Home Bargains or Powerland. There's this jack-o'-lantern thing which is good for food bowls and it's a hideout. Yeah, these things are great. Like, I don't, I don't know what they're called. You put like candles on them and they melt. Uh, this is what I was off, this pumpkin. This pumpkin which was used as a hideout. And then there's this one as well. And then there's just some weird bat things in here that are all tangled up. So I'm not even going to bother getting them out. And 
some jelly sticker things that say happy Halloween, which I definitely don't want to get out. Mimi went back to bed. Eleanor has a lot of hamster supplies. So these are hamster supplies. I thought I would just show them. I have these two wheels. This is a 12 inch silent spinner and then this is a 12 inch flying saucer. My mum got me this for Christmas for peaches but he passed away on the 5th of January. And then this was also for peaches. I just kept them because you never know I might get hamsters sometime in the future even though my parents won't let me. You never know right? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below videos you want to see on our channel. This is from Zooplus, forgot to say that, and I have no idea this is from, it's from a random shop in Bowie, I think. Bye!